Hi guys, I did a previous video where I sh introduced the formula for converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit and I basically just introduced them without deriving one from the other. So without getting into the physics of it, I want to show you the algebra because this very well could be a problem on an, al uh, an algebraic problem. So well, we'd have to learn how to deal with getting Fahrenheit alone. If we wanted to get the Fahrenheit and we have the Celsius, this equation won't really do in the shape it's in right now. We need to get to here, right? But in order to get from, he from here to here, we have to do some algebra. And I think it's a good exercise and it's a quick one. And I think you'd enjoy it. Okay? So, this is how we'll do this problem. We need F alone. As you can see, we know what our target is over here on the right hand side. So, let's get F alone. We're multiplying this by this. So, we can get, we can take this 5 ninths away from here and reduce the level of our complication. In order to do that, let me do this in another color, green. We have to multiply by the reciprocal of this, right, on both sides. Right, and when we do that, this 9 cancels out with that 9, and this 5 cancels out with that 5, and what we're left with is a much cleaner looking 9 fifths C times C, right, equals F minus 32. And we're almost there. F is just has one more thing on, with it that we need to get rid of. We need to take this 32 on the other side. And the way you do that, you take the additive inverse. So plus 32 on this side, plus 32 on this side. And what's left is 9 fifths times C plus 32 equals F. And as you can see, that exactly matches up with what we have here, except we have F on this side. And we've gotten ourselves from Celsius to Fahrenheit using some of the skills we've learned in algebra. Okay? So make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out the other tutorial videos. And until next time, practice, practice, practice.